everyone this is Sheetal Rao in this video I'm going to give you some fancy vocabulary words that you can definitely inculcate in your active speech of course you can flaunt these words in front of your near and dear ones your friends your mates if you are working professional then your colleagues so without any further delay let's get started first word is dining hotspot dining hotspot is a place that is so vibrant cheerful pleasant classy where you go for dining out with your friends or family members. Next word that we have is a blooming spot. Blooming spot is kind of very attractive spot. This is a blooming spot. Whenever you go somewhere to just explore, to just see, to get the vibe, like you can go to some mall and there is some decoration, then you can say, wow, this is a blooming spot. I would love to come here every weekend. Fine. Shopping spree. This is an expression that we use when we have to go for shopping for just fun, for enjoying. There are two kinds of shopping. One is for fun and second one is when we really need something to buy. That is a necessity. So this is just for fun. Shopping spree. So to, tonight I'm just planning to go out on a shopping spree with my bestie. Next word that we have is atrium. So when you go out for shopping in a huge gigantic mall, enormous mall, where there is a hole in the center, there is an area that is so big, so huge and that open space from where you can see the elevators, you can see those grills, all the floors, so that area is called atrium, fine. So here in Chandigarh we have this Elante mall and whenever there is some kind of occasion or festival, so that, is, that place is always uh, ready with a theme. So that is what we call an atrium. Fine. So next expression is leap off. Leap off something means to jump from some some place. Leap off. Like at 2 o'clock in night, yesterday I saw some shadowy uh, thing leaping off the uh, terrace. It might be scary. Then there is another expression that is leap out. Leap out means when somebody when something appears to come out of something like the characters are so real they seem to be leaping out of the pages so it means the characters appear to be very real when you read a book and there is a picture and uh, you just get this in your mind that this character wow you feel like that character is just sitting right next to you Fine, so that is that real a description is giving, given in that written form. Actually, next level of vocabulary skills, technicalities are needed in order to make that thing possible. Anyway, moving on. Next is, it's, it's evident that, evident. So it's evident that means, uh, of course, this is absolutely true. It's evident from the last experience that this must have happened uh, here. Like there is some uh, murder and you saw a person with a knife uh, that is uh, like everywhere there is blood. You can easily identify that this guy murdered this person. Fine. So you can say that it's evident that this person is killed by him. Evident that. Fine. Like it's clear that. It's vivid that. I think you are getting these words. Next one is primitive. Primitive means something that is old, that is obsolete, primitive, old, fine. Entities, entities, entity, identity, your unique identity, fine. Whenever you go to mountains, then that place has a, its own entity. That thing you are not going to get in maybe your own hometown because that might be desert. Okay, moving on next. Indulgent, indulgent means a person who gives green light to almost everything whatever you want to do like you can say I have very indulgent parents whenever I ask them for anything they are always there to support me they always give green light to me for whatever I want to pursue and my parents are actually indulgent okay next word is intrinsic intrinsically intrinsic it means that is within something naturally or um, inherently for example you can say that i have this uh, uh, intrinsic nature uh, of uh, helping others i'm intrinsically generous 
am intrinsically kind and humble polite like it's naturally in yourself within fine ripple so what are ripples ripples are little waves in the water like you must have uh, observed whenever you throw a little stone in uh, very still water then they are uh, it's going to form a ripples fine i think you get got the idea fine so the next expression that we have is beam somebody beams like beams is like mm, shining bright uh, there is so this uh, spark in one's eyes and smiles so it's like she's beaming with joy i mean she is actually enjoying very much she's having a blast she's beaming with joy feeling very happy she's feeling you can say thrilled okay one last word for giving compliments to somebody that is that might be your favorite person that might be your teacher that might be your best friend it can be anybody that you love the most so first word is gallant that man is really gallant means handsome charismatic fine a happy cheerful so those people gallant charismatic fine these two words i love actually i adore them the most so that was it and in my next videos i'm going to talk about literature that we study in masters of english i am a student of ma english in chandigarh university and i'm really loving it my whole journey it's priceless of course and not speechless i'm not speechless but i have plenty of words to describe it i will try my level best to Uh, tell you my experience how do i feel here in chandigarh university and the staff the campus the people over here the studies the curriculum everything i'm going to discuss about chandigarh university in the next video and also i'm going to talk about the syllables in ma english if you are interested if you are a student of uh, ma english because on youtube i see that there is limited stuff that is interesting but i'm going to make it a little more fun i'm going to spice it up and you are definitely going to love it so if you want that then do let me know in the comment section what is your preference what are your choices so thank you so much for being with me till the very end i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press that bell icon if you want to get notified on the right time Thank you so much bye bye take care